Keep the laughs alive this summer and get to Comedy Central's Another Frickin' Festival featuring Ronnie Shank from The Daily Show and the UK's Paul for all your favourite Kiwi comedy talent and a couple from across the ditch. There's never been a better time to gather the crew. Book your tickets and get set for a big frickin' night of comedy in Queenstown. Special day today, we're at the Queenstown Institution that is Ferg Burger. Come to see what the big deal is all about, especially with that line that seems to be there 24 7. Gonna get a little bit cheeky, gonna try and cut the queue, get my burger order in quick, and just see how people react. Maybe even give out a few burger vouchers just to, for the feel good factor. It started with no trouble whatsoever. I was amazed that no one told me to eat shit and get to the back of the line. That was until I messed with Simon, the Welshman living in Strayer. He politely waited till I was off the phone and then asked, um, how come you just pushed in? I was like, what, here now? He's like, yeah. I was like, nah, 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 nah. I was here earlier. Well, like, a couple of days ago. E a couple of days ago. Um, she was saving my spot for me. But he wasn't buying it. The gag was up. Now you took exception to a little bit of queue cutting there. How did that make you feel? Well, I'm British, so we know how to queue. We, we, we don't like people who push into queue, so I'm good at queuing. I like that he had a little bit of respect, waited until I was off the phone, and then... Uh, oh, I just watch it. Within minutes, my antics had aroused the attention of Steve Bradley, general manager of the Ferg chain. Did you get alarm bells? Did you have someone uh, uh, asking a question? Oh, we just thought we'd pop down and see who had a camera out today. Is it, a, is it a regular thing? Do you guys usually get crews and stuff here? Yeah, we do. A lot of crews from around the world and a lot of people doing their own little things and travel bloggers, but no one's as illustrious as you guys. Um, but how, long would you, how long would you line up for a burger for? Uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, not that long. I, it was just because I had nothing to do. And every time we've walked past the line's been back there, so we might as well. Yeah. Steve, do you, do you get a few people pushing in? Yeah, we do get a few people pushing in. Everyone's always after a wee shortcut, but uh, hopefully our staff can spot them and make it easy for the person behind them, save the embarrassment. OK, time to uh, catch up with one of the fluffers here at Ferg Burger, Aoife. Do you get a few people pushing in? Um, no, we actually haven't had anybody push in that I've seen anyway. I've pushed in about six times. They were cutting in, in the queue then. Everyone was remarkably savoury. Everyone was OK with it. I think it's Queenstown, isn't it? You're on holiday, you're a little bit more relaxed. We're not in Auckland here now, so, uh, you know, not cool the car in front, but good experiment. What do you have to say for locals if they still want to get their Ferg Burger? How do they go about it without so the hassle? So, the best thing to do would be to call in. So, if you know that, like, maybe for dinner this evening, that's what you're going to get, call in, and then we'll have it ready for you to collect later on. And then, if you say you're a local, we'll get a little discount as well. Well, there you go. Turns out you can quite easily push in. Maybe it's the approach, maybe it's the technique. Don't do it though, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, phone up, like Aoife said, or just enjoy the journey and ride the queue in. Just like Disneyland, Disney World. <laughs>